Today I'm going for our first run in the Solomon Sense Ride 3. Eleven point one five miles, nine minutes, three seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty eight beats per minute. Taking it relatively easy today, but hitting those dirt roads after some rains overnight. I'm going for a first run in the Solomon Sense Ride Three. Now, before I get into my thoughts on this shoe after just the first run, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I purchased with my own money. No one sent it to me, and no one's going to reimburse me for the purchase price. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my thoughts or footage before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. Now with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about this Solomon Sense Ride 3. Now this is the first Solomon that I've run in in a couple of years and it's actually only the second Solomon shoe that I've run in. The first one being the Solomon Predict RA which was a road running shoe. And now I've decided to come back to Solomon even after a little bit of a hiatus because over here in Iowa where I've been running there have been a lot of dirt roads where I thought that the road running shoes that I've been running in have been fine. I probably could have gone the whole summer with just those road running shoes, but I wanted something a little bit more robust, a little bit more rugged for some of these surfaces. And that's exactly where this shoe comes in. Solomon touts it as a road running shoe, but with trail shoe credentials. And how are they trying to accomplish that? They're trying to accomplish it in a couple of ways. From the upper, they've got this pro feel film, which is supposed to keep out some of the elements. There is extra protection in some of the more vulnerable areas of your feet in case you are worried about rocks or accidentally kicking things. There's a moderate amount of padding kind of everywhere in the shoe as well. And there's definitely some cushioning in the back here, which I think it feels just about right for, for this type of shoe. Then going into the midsole, they have what Solomon calls its OptiVibe technology, which is a combination of two foams. I think it's this gray foam here and the black foam towards the front. The gray foam is gonna be a little bit softer and meant to dampen some of the impact from hitting those surfaces. And then the black foam is intended to be a little bit more responsive and give you a little bit of spring back as you're going through your run. Then to round out the trail credentials of this shoe is this uh, outsole pattern here, which has some very nice nubby lugs, full rubber contra grip outsole here. Now, how are they trying to maintain that road running feel in this shoe? Uh, and they're doing it in a couple of ways. While it's a 10 and a half ounce shoe, which makes it feel a little bit heavy for let's say a daily trainer, I think that that felt pretty good. It didn't feel like it was too heavy for me. There's also an eight millimeter drop, which is a little bit more of an aggressive position. It makes you lean forward just a little bit more. And there is that propulsive portion of the foam uh, that's in the forefoot here in this OptiVibe technology. The fit of the shoe is also very snug, very much reminded me of a lot of the road running shoes that I've been running in over the past couple of weeks. So a very much feels like a road running shoe. The main difference being it's kind of like a road running shoe with a whole bunch of lugs on the bottom, which is exactly what I was looking for. And so the running experience that I had with this um, is that I felt like Solomon did a really good job and I'm overall thinking that I'm going to like running in this shoe. There are a couple of tweaks that I think that I would have liked or I think that in terms of the shoe that I'm looking for, it's different than exactly what this Sense Ride 3 is providing. And one of the ways I'll look at it is kind of like midsole versus lugs. In running in this shoe, and I know it's probably because I don't run in a lot of trail shoes or shoes with lugs in them. So running on the lugs, especially on the paved surfaces that I was running on of today's run, I think about two miles were on paved surfaces. Uh, I felt like there was a lot of lugs here and I felt like there was maybe a little bit too much lugs. I could have done with a little bit less lugs and a little bit more midsole. I'm not saying that there isn't enough stack height in it necessarily, uh, there's 17 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot, which I think is plenty. But I think that if we trim down a little bit of the outsole lugs on this, the 
performance of the midsole will shine through a little bit more. Uh, and so I think that's a little bit of what I was looking for, but that just might be my expectations of what I'm looking for in a shoe versus what this shoe is intended to be. But nevertheless, I felt like once I got onto the dirt road, it felt right at home. Lately, I've been trying to avoid some of the rockier surfaces and looking for some of the more buffed out portions of the dirt road. Today in the Sense Ride 3, I found myself doing the exact opposite. I enjoyed running on the rocks. I enjoyed getting into a little bit more of the unstable surfaces. It just felt really nice to be in there. It felt very sure-footed. Uh, it was a very different change of pace figuratively for me. My paces were still pretty good. I felt like I was able to get through the gait cycle relatively quickly. I felt like the shoes were pretty nimble and I enjoyed running in them so far. The thing that uh, already, there were two kind of, not issues, <laughs> one is an experience problem with me, uh, a lack of experience, and the two is a little bit of an issue that I think is probably gonna go away or is very easily avoidable. The first is the lacing system that's on this shoe. There's like a speed lacing type of system where, um, it has, uh, instead of laces that you tie together, like a little mechanism where you cinch it. Uh, I couldn't really quite figure it out. And there's instructions that came with the shoe on how to use it. Uh, there's a little pocket here at the top of the tongue uh, where you're supposed to, I think, tuck everything in. Uh, and I did that, but it looked kind of bulky. Functionally, it didn't seem to be a problem. I gotta figure out a better way to kind of like do this lacing system uh, and I'll figure that out, not a huge deal. The thing that was a bigger problem was I got chafing on both feet from the way that this uh, tongue is designed. There's a portion of this tongue where there's a little bit of a seam on the inside and that rubbed up against my foot. I was wearing a, a no cut or like a low cut sock. Uh, and so that was something that was touching my bare foot and caused definitely some irritation felt it in the shower afterwards, but right around like mile eight, around nine, mile nine, I started thinking, ooh, my feet are getting rubbed. And uh, I think that's gonna easily be fixed with probably more just running, but also with some taller socks next time. So not a huge issue, but it did create some problems for me uh, on a day where I wanted to wear a lower cut sock. I usually almost always wanna wear a lower cut sock. It's so a final thing that I think will probably sort itself out through a little bit more break in and or just getting used to the shoe is that I felt a little bit of pinching right here um, just below kind of like my pinky toenail on my right foot. And this is a left shoe, but on my right foot, uh, I started to feel that right towards the end of the run. So I'm thinking that might be just a break-in issue with some of the materials that are in here, which are a little bit stiffer that are intended to kind of protect the foot from rocks and accidentally kicking things. So I think that'll kind of mellow itself out as the shoe and I kind of spend more time together. Uh, overall, I felt it was like very promising experience today. Uh, I think that this is exactly the type of shoe that I'm looking for, uh, for the kinds of runs that I'm going on here. Now, I probably won't use this type of shoe for every run that I'm going on around here. Most of the runs I'm spending about half of the time on pavement, half of the time on dirt roads. Uh, I think in that situation, I probably won't reach for the Sense Ride 3, but on runs like today, where I spent the majority of my time on dirt roads, that's definitely where I'll be looking for the Sense Ride 3. Or on days where I know it's gonna be a little bit messier, then I'll definitely reach for the Sense Ride 3. There's usually, for the most part, uh, a dirt road type of shoulder that I can also run on if I'm looking for something a little bit softer because these lugs are uh, at least for a road runner like me. They're definitely no joke. So those are my thoughts on the Sense Ride 3 after just the first run from a road runner's perspective looking at this trail shoe. If you have any questions about this shoe, uh, feel free to down, put them down in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it a little bit more down there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?